And let's do a quick example uh, exercise. This is example one, point load. So we have a point load of P 50,000 pounds at the surface. And then we're going to calculate the stress increase at a point A. This is the depth is 20 feet. And then that R, that horizontal distance from the point load to this point A is 10 feet. So we're going to calculate this stress increase at point A due to that surface load using Bushnet solution. Uh, this is a very simple calculation. So for this one, so at point A, again, we know the depth is 20 feet and uh, that horizontal distance, radial distance, R is 10 feet. And then this R over Z ratio. So this R over Z ratio is 0 0.5, 10 over 20. And then we're going to use that table to find the influence factor I1. So let's go to that table 10.1. And from this table, R over Z of 0.5. And for R over Z of 0.5, the corresponding I1 value point two seven three three. So that's an influence factor I1. Once you have this I1 value, then that increase in vertical stress, we call delta sigma z, is simply the point of P over z squared times I1. Again, this is from Bushnet solution. And point of P is 50,000 pounds. Depth z is 20, so z squared, so that's 20 squared times I1, which we just looked it up from that table, 10.1. So 0 0.2733. And that will give you the stress increase at point A. And this is 34.2 PSF, pound per square foot. So that's a really simple example. Just given point load at the surface, the location of the point in the soil, then you use Bushnet solution to figure out delta sigma z, the vertical stress increase. So that's the first example. That's point load. Uh, 